All right, y'all, we are at a freaking motorcycle, motorcycle um, place. Because the fun police just decided on the way down the highway that he wants a new motorcycle. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if he's having a midlife crisis or what this is all about. But here my dumb ass is, down for the ride. Let's see what he's looking at. Is there a specific bike you looking for? I was looking for that CX-10. That's what I was looking for. Oh, so you don't have nothing else in mind? No. Why don't you get one of these? Not doing it. Why not? It looks cool. Nope. This looks cool, don't it, y'all? You guys doing all right? Yes, yeah. Sir. These look cool, too. You see these? He's, he totally ignored me. He's not with my shits. We gonna have to come back to the whole motorcycle situation because he can't make up his mind exactly what motorcycle he looking for. Here's the killer part. Literally five hours ago, he had never mentioned anything of buying a new motor motorcycle. No mention of it. But we driving down the highway and drive past a motorcycle dealership. I think that's what they call them. You know, the place to sell motorcycles. I figure a car dealership that sell cars is called a dealership. So a motorcycle place to sell motorcycles i mean it's called a motorcycle dealership right sounds right so anyway sees a damn motorcycle dealership and now today you decide to buy a motorcycle who does that nobody nobody does that nobody the fun police do nobody else does but the fun police but anywho while he making up his mind what he want to do and which bike he want to buy at this point i'm just like whatever you want babe because you be doing everything for me and the kids he he gotta have some stuff that he like for himself but anywho um so i am planning a trip for Aaliyah for her 18th birthday her birthday is january 9th she wants to go to miami she wants to get her first tattoo so we're gonna do a girl's trip to miami but i was talking to the fun police earlier and i was like I'm almost tempted to tell Lexi to stay at home because initially she didn't know if she wanted to go or not. She couldn't make her mind up. Then finally she was like, okay, I'll go. But I'm like, Lexi's not going to have anybody there. Like, she's not going to have any friend or anything to go with. And I know Lexi really don't like hanging around Leah, especially when Leah got a friend with her. So I'm like, I, I don't think Lexi's really going to get much out of this trip. So I'm like, why don't Lexi just stay home? Her birthday is two weeks after Aaliyah's birthday. So whatever Lexi want to do, we can do whatever Lexi want to do. But let Leah have her moment. So I just don't think Lexi going to get a lot out of the trip. I think she won't have as much fun um, going on this trip. So I'm at the school about to pick her up. And I'm going to ask her for sure if she really want to go on the trip or not. If she say that she really want to go, then I'm not going to tell her no. But if she like, mm, I mean, it don't matter if I go or if I don't go. I'm totally not getting ready to pay for a plane ticket for her ass to go and not really enjoy herself. Um, so that's what I'm getting ready to do now. So I'm just sitting in the parent line. See all those cars? It's cars behind me too. Like, it's so many parents sitting here trying to get their kid that we can't even get onto the parking lot. We are literally parked on the street uh, right here where the school is. So... Let's see what she say. She just got out of school. So, Lex, I got a question for you. Be honest. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to go to Miami with us, or would you rather stay home? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Do you think you would enjoy yourself if you go with Leah and her friend? No. Okay, so do you want to stay at home with Dad? Yeah. Do you for real? How long, how, how long will you guys be going? Saturday through Monday. Yeah, I'd rather stay home with that. For real? Is that your... Is, are you being honest? Yeah. Because you know if you want to go, you can go, right? But what if I don't want to go? If you don't want to go, then you don't have to go. You can stay with Daddy. Is, I, no, I just said that. <laughs> All right, well... Looks like she's staying home with the fun police. What you want to do for your birthday then? I don't know. Last time, she, last time she was telling us what she wanted to do for her birthday, this girl talking about she want to get a freaking bus and pick everybody up and drive where? I don't remember where I said. It was like some cool, like, Airbnb or this cool hotel with, like, a inside water park. 
how many friends that's the thing it's hard to pick between friends what if we go what if we go to the water park but we don't get no big ass bus to transport everybody but we just but go how everybody gonna get there but that's the thing you only invite enough people that can fit in the car four people Huh, that's a lot of people for me to be responsible for. True. Oh God, y'all. I hate the fact that her and Leah's birthdays are right next to each other. And then Lyndon's is two weeks after Lexi's. But I'm pretty sure Lyndon is not gonna want to do anything. He's just gonna want money. And that's easy. I can accomplish that. But this this child right here, y'all gonna have to help me. Send help. Y'all uncle is legit about to stress me the hell out. So he got us back at this dealership, this motorcycle dealership, uh, because he made a decision on which bike he wants. So he thought it was necessary that he come all the way back up here right away to get the bike. And I'm like, now? They can't like hold it until tomorrow? He was like, nope, I'm going to get my bike now. Mind y'all, this morning, this man had no plans on buying a motorcycle. That don't even, that don't even make sense. Do that. So let me go up in here. He's already inside. I had to make a phone call, so I didn't walk in with him, but oh, let, let me lock his door. So he be fussing about that. Ain't nobody got time to be hearing his mouth. So let me go inside because I don't even know which bike it is that uh, he's getting. But, fun fact, y'all, I used to have a motorcycle. Yep, um, a sport bike. It was, what was it? You know what, I can't remember. It was a Jixxer. Um, and I used to ride, and the fun police had, like, got me a paint job and everything. It was black and purple. I'll, I'll probably try to insert a picture of it if I can find a picture of what it uh, looked like when I had it, but. Let's see what bike he's getting. Okay, y'all, so this is the uh, one he's getting. Sure it's, it's a Honda C CBR, I, buying, like, I think. Yeah. Down, he's had one like this, down, this, down, this, down, this, this down, before, and he actually had like a cute little paint down, job on it. It was like burgundy, uh, and it looked like a freaking candy apple. But he's going with all black this time. What you think? All right, sir. He ready. He like, where do I sign? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You wake up this morning and decide that you want a new motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> I swear you irk. He irks. But hey, you work hard, you play hard. So he deserves it. He works hard. Now we're just going to have to get painted on the side. I am married. No, the hell we in Because, you know, chicks be seeing dudes with bikes. And they be like, he cannot ride on the back of your bike. So we're going to get painted on the side of this bitch and say, I'm, gonna I'm married. Huh? I'm going to take this off. You know, I don't never show my. Ooh, it's windy as hell out here. So they, they're about to put the bike in the uh, back of the truck. So they got it ready to go. trying to do that. home safely with the motorcycle so him and i had to get it off the back of the truck it was an interesting little situation but we got it off he got it tucked away in the um, garage he sleep with a smile on his face because he's super excited about this damn motorcycle and i'm happy for him because he works really hard and he does a lot for me and the kids and um 
a, a lot of other people on top of it. Like he's a giver, like that's just him. So it's nice to see him splurge a little bit on himself because he never do stuff for himself. And I always tell him, you have to do stuff for yourself. You can't always just keep doing stuff for just me and the kids and then putting yourself on the back burner. Um, so I appreciate him for that. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video because now I have to edit some more videos because I'm behind on this whole vlog this thing again. Yeah, I was trying to catch up and now I'm behind again. So until next time.